everybody and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Lillian! And today we are attempting to recreate this painting as a cake. So just a bit of background here. I made this painting a year ago and I had a party like four days later with my brother and it was actually a fake party for a different video but we pretended it was a birthday party for um, this emu here. Um, his name is Sir Connell the Emu, um, after my brother. So that, yeah, that's that exciting story. And now we are making a cake for him for his real birthday this year. We're giving him a real birthday party that will just be me and the painting, I guess. Um, <laughs> so what I thought we might do is follow this cupcake recipe, which you probably can't read from over there. But it is a tropical pineapple cupcake with citrus cream cheese frosting. Which is probably like my favourite cupcake recipe but I haven't made it in like years. Uh, my brother had a pineapple themed party one year and I made these cupcakes for it. Except then no one realised they were pineapple flavoured with lime icing and they put like caramel sauce in it and stuff. And I was like stop ruining my cupcakes you morons. But like... Anyway, that's besides the point. So what I have here is my flour, sugar, butter, pineapple, eggs, and yeah, that's I guess the ingredients for the cake part. So our first step here is actually to preheat the oven, which I haven't done yet, but I never preheat the oven when I'm supposed to anyway. So we're going to the first step I can do out here, which is actually putting paper cases on a baking sheet but anyway we're not doing paper cases today because we're trying to make it into a big cake what we are going to do is cut up our pineapple so we need two slices of canned pineapple and natural juice yeah this isn't juice juice that's just dripped on the table what's the daisies and i realize now i should have got a fork to get out my pineapple. I tried to prepare and get everything I needed this time because last time I did these I was like running out the door every five minutes to look for stuff but now um yeah I, I thought I had everything I needed out here. So I'm trying to decide whether or not I should double the recipe because this doesn't make 12 cupcakes but I'm trying to make one big cake um because I basically just want to be able to fill up this pan here so I might Maybe I will double the recipe because I think I'll be able to do that easy enough. Which means I will need four slices of my pineapple. Okay. Maybe chops a bit smaller actually. Mm. Let's see if I can get you a close up of that without spilling any juice. Juice is definitely going to spill everywhere, but you can tell I'm holding up a board of pineapple, right? Anyway, <laughs> that's our pineapple. Then we need a beet, a butter, and sugar. So it says three eighths of a cup of sugar, and we'll double that so I guess six eighths, which is three quarters. I can do math. I actually can. Oh wait, I just cut myself on that tin. That was super easy. Cut myself three quarters of the sugar. Mm. Yeah, I used to make cupcakes a lot back in the day when I was like at high school and stuff, but I guess. I can't really make them regularly because they're a bit too unhealthy and my parents will kill me. Um, but, oh well, I will make them when I have excuses like birthday parties for paintings. Or like, I guess this could, I could just say this is my graduation cake because I did just finish my university degree. And I got my results back the other week, so that was exciting. Um, okay. Yeah, I can put them into there. 
Hi guys, this is a sample from um, one of the musicals I started writing. Hope you enjoy. You know my brother, Rosenhorn? Uh, yeah, I I've seen him around. Don't think we have any classes together though. That's good. For some reason, he thinks he needs to look out for me. That's because you've been expelled twice and almost murdered. I gotta give it to you, that's pretty impressive, but doesn't exactly indicate I'm totally very good at keeping myself alive. I'm exceptionally good at keeping myself alive. Wait, this sounds like a cool story. It's not a cool story. Hell yeah, it is! Eighth grade. Chemistry. If that gives you any idea of where this is going. We were at that fancy private school. Hair ruffled, shirts buttoned very improperly. Sunnies, hoodies, spray paint. We were in it for the long haul. Rebellion, anarchy, rebellion, anarchy. He was wild and reckless and careless and arrogant, charming and brutal and crazy, narcissistic and histrionic, a pyro and plenty lazy, slick and laid back and eight six four pack, the super ripped biceps, super ripped biceps, non existent biceps, the jaw dropping smile, jaw dropping smile, jaw breaking sneer. Those beautiful eyes, beautiful eyes, hideous eyes, eyes like the inescapable brightness of an overcast day, all too ready to provide a cataclysmic overpopulation of cats and ducks. Ramsden could do with some more rain, but we don't need to turn the entire town into a lake. Then again, it could be good for tourism if we were the next Atlantis. And I definitely don't regret using him as a role model, being his right hand man. He is the most epic friend. See, I wasn't always like this douche over here. These babies that have barely said anything. We were the introvert gang, trying to stay far forever. It was puzzles and board games, watching Horace the Vampire. Dating and drinking, partying can get a crucifix to the face. Safety is contentment if this fire stay away. Lived in a world of books and raisin cookies. Raisins? Gross. Chocolate chip is the only acceptable cookie filling. Rebellion, anarchy, rebellion, anarchy, rebellion, anarchy, rebellion, anarchy. I'm not sure that's a particularly rebellious opinion. And sure, it was sweet and hung, but I wanted to find a new identity. One that was based on more than just my friend's interests. It was time to be cool, like Edmund, he was cool. Nearly burning down a school. Pfft, fire's dangerous. I've been a foot away from it, exploding up the classroom. Whoa, freaking amazing. I had a new gang now, this guy and his friends. Lana Future Stent. Lana, future tennis star, ruthless cellist Kane. We were criminals, roaming the streets, doing justice for society. We were the good guys. So I definitely don't regret 
Using him as a role model, being his right hand man, he's the most epic friend. Yeah, I definitely don't regret using him as a role model, being his right hand man. He's the most epic friend. So yeah, that fight got him kicked out and the gang got a little dismantled since he and Kane ended up going to that old boys school while I came here and honestly I'm a little rusty with this plot from what I can tell they hate each other now and Edmund ended up coming here but wait I uh, missed the part where he and Lana were dating and I that didn't end well either so uh, I guess it's kind of kind of just us now while uh, us and the introvert duo and Madeline over there. Hey, you can't include me in this friend group? I think you've told enough of the story. Yeah, we should really stop there. But I reached the coolest part. The school variety concert. Dance, drama, music, and these two did nothing. We're ending the story. Did the cutest Romeo and Juliet type thing. I'm still trying to work out who tricked us into thinking that would be a good idea. Which turned absolutely horrifying. Romeat, Romeat, what happened to you? Please don't die, Romeat. Woe is me. I guess I'm too late. This is the end. Don't want to live without you. As I say goodbye. As I hold you close. I'll tell you that I love you one last time. Fudge. Is that real blood? Okay, Edmund. Uh, Julio. Julio. What happened to you? Please don't die, Julio. Woe is me. I guess I'm too late. This is the end. Don't wanna live without you. As I say goodbye, as I hold you close, I'll tell you that I love you one last time. Just for the record, I would have never actually be in love with Edmund. That would be the stupidest mistake anyone could ever have the misfortune of making. Wait, so someone actually tried to kill you in the middle of your performance? Uh, yeah, uh, with this. Coolest thing that ever happened to me. Well, <laughs> except now everyone thinks Madeline and I actually like each other. Rebellion, Anarchy, K-I-S-S-I-N-G, Julio and Romeo, go ahead, start a protest, we'll place our bets. Seventy on them getting together before the end of the year? That's a risky move, a risky move, I tell you. Uh, give me a coffee and I'll give you double the usual return, if you're right. Rebellion, Anarchy, K-I-S-S-I-N-G, Julio and Romeo, start a protest, we'll place our bets. You know, I think we should actually start a protest. I second that. Separate protests, though. Very separate protests. Yes, I've been ducking under that cord the whole time. Hello, hello, and now we're facing this way. Thought you might want to see my face again after that break from seeing my face. Because <laughs> um, my face is super gorgeous, right? Yeah, yeah, no. Not actually at all, though.